Welcome back to another episode of the Unbreakable Sentai Podcast, everybody. This is James. Oh, oh. I'm Darius. It's me, the best boy, son of God. I found Noah. you, Miss New Booty. <laughs> what, 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 what's he saying after that? Fuck are you Dude, talking I don't know. About? Dude, I, I, no joke. Okay, Drop so, it down, so, bring it down to me. I think you're actually right. Yeah. Yeah, it's Bubba Sparks, uh, Bubba Miss Sparks. New. No, what, what, what's the song name? I don't remember. It's not just Miss New Booty. It's, it's Dude, I think it's Booty. I don't, I don't know what the name is. That God song came it. out. Straight up, we were in middle school when that song <laughs> oh, came five. out. Oh five, dude! Yeah, I never heard this song. Oh five, I think ish. Bubba Maybe Sparks. It's, it's super old. It's super old. Miss New Booty. It's called Miss New Booty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a one hit wonder right there. Is Bubba Sparks white. Oh, yeah. Is he what? White. Yeah, he's white. He's like some southern white guy. Yeah, he Jesus. sure does look like. He's that. like kind of like Paul Wall. You remember Paul Wall? No. No. Oh. Paul Wall was a. Uh... He I, he kind of he kind of. I don't want to say it, but like this image I'm seeing, the small thumbnail, he looks like fucking George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman. <laughs> yeah. You tell me that bottom image, Darius, doesn't look like fucking George Zimmerman. It's the it's the facial hair, I think. Yeah, because he's the got the, he's got the he's all respect to Bubba Sparks, except not. I, was, I thought you were gonna say all no. respect to Zimmerman. No, I'm like, <laughs> no. oh no, we gotta talk about this one, James. No, uh, it's just <laughs> when you're when you're that overweight. Facial hair does not look good when you try to go for the, you know, just around the just mouth. Just a goatee? Look. Yeah. Um, like the strip? Yeah. yeah, because the rest of your cheeks and... It puffs and, out. Yeah. <laughs> and your yeah. face looks flat. Yeah, go go full beard or none at all. Exactly. Yeah, I feel you on that one. Hmm. Okay, so this is... Is, this is, is the chin strap ever a good look? Uh, It depends. If you're in a ska band, yes. Yeah. That's I the think, only I, situation. <laughs> I had the chin strap when I was younger. This is going to sound terrible. I'm not a pedophile. I'm just going to say this <laughs> right now. Why are you preferencing That's a, a hell beard of a story? I was, I was gonna I'm not say, a pedophile. Go, I was going to say, I think chin traps. <laughs> I think they look good on like younger like teenagers who can't grow the full beard yet. Okay. No, all younger teenagers need to shave their face because they have shitty fucking facial hair. Yeah. I, like, think, oh, I think the chip strap works. I'm so proud of my tens. I, don't know. I had whiskers. to. I had when I was like, There's what, 19? 18, I had the chin strap. Okay. Well, there's a cer- certain type of person that gets a chin strap. Pedals? They're usually Starts degenerates. Yeah, degenerates. I uh. agree with <laughs> So, yeah, the chin strap, it looks good on younger kids, but I'm not a pedophile. That's why I prefaced that yeah. with, like... You really didn't need to preface it with that, though. <laughs> that sounds bad, though. When no, you, no, 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 no. Because you can say, oh, it looks good on people who are younger and not sound like a pedophile. But when you preface yeah, it, yeah, that you're, looks you're right, good, you're right, you know? You're, right, you're 100% right. Because, like, I could say something like, oh, yeah, light blue yeah. shirts look good on, like, little kids. And that sounds fine. But if I start that with, I'm not a pedophile, <laughs> but... You sound like you're yeah, but I, I was thinking more of future, just in case I run for president. Sure, somebody get that that they like get that, that sound bite. Yeah, is, uh, is this is this how you're gonna bring up the dirt? No, I'm not gonna talk about that. <laughs> that, that, that. That doesn't need to be discussed. That's, uh, that's within the inner circle. Yeah, you're goddamn right. <laughs> but if you said, you know, somebody get that video clip of you just saying the inner circle. Yeah, light blue shirts look good on little kids. You know, that could be yeah. problems. That could be a problem. Yeah, you need those not to get clipped. The, the inner circle is not. The internet, you gotta yeah, but now stamp it too. Exactly, because now you're fucked, Darius. Because now people are gonna take your audio and they're just gonna cut one word out and it's gonna go. Okay, guys, I'm a pedophile, <laughs> <laughs> and you're you're fucked now anyway. You're you're 100 right. Because because they even have like, I like yeah, little boys and like you're it. fucked exactly. <laughs> you're done. Yeah, it's over. I guess my my your dreams of running yeah. uh running for president yeah, exactly. are out the window. Yeah. Yeah. Over before it even began. You want to start or you want me to start? Well, I want to start real quick by saying this is episode nine. You know, thank you for, hey, for being here. You remember. This long. Do we have a name for this shit? What do you mean? Do we ever do names? We before? do names in the video, oh. but we don't do names during. Okay. I don't know. We we <laughs> Never mind. I don't want to name it that. Uh, <laughs> 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 say I'm not a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad name. <laughs> that's much like prefacing. Ooh. You see that title and go, art. Are you? Oh, no. Are yeah. you sure? Uh, no, there's some there's some shit that happened the last two weeks. You know, we yeah. got we two got things. yeah we we got uh, Last of Us Two came out. Last of couple... Us Two. I want to talk about. It. Can I talk about it now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go for it. Noah doesn't care about spoilers. If you're gonna spoil anything, anything. yeah, no, we we, we, we uh, saw everything. Yeah. I'm, uh, if you guys are listening, don't want to be spoiled. I guess jump ahead or whatever. Yeah, I'll put yeah, time click stamps. on this timestamp. Yeah. yeah. 
So, <laughs> Last of Us, le- first of all, Last of Us One, one of my favorite games ever. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It was it was one of the games that made me get PS3. Really? Straight up. Yeah. It was fucking incredible. Loved it. I remember playing it for the first time. I remember the experience. I remember we were playing it at Matt's house one day. His parents were in Florida. I don't know why. I think Disney World. It's the only reason I ever go to Florida. Yeah. And um. Or by meth. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, just saying. I'm not saying they went to buy meth, but that is another reason. To go to Florida. <laughs> and it's like it's like a, a spooky game. You know, it's kind of spooky. Sure. And uh, we, his like house made a weird noise. To the point where we had to go downstairs. It was like in the middle of the night and check out the weird noise. And we picked up. Okay, so Matt has a fireplace, right? And I picked up the little poker, yeah. the sharp thing. Matt picks up the shovel. <laughs> the I'm, shovel. Like, I'm like, what are you going to do with he's that? He's going to bury the body you're going to kill. <laughs> yeah. That's what he's going to do. I'm like, what are you going to do with that fucking <laughs> shovel? He's like, I don't know. And then, of course, this big ass down Coda is no help. She's not attacking nobody. No. <laughs> But no, the alarm went off for no reason. He had an alarm on his house. Okay. And like the back door alarm went off for no fucking reason. So we were checking that out and things got spooky. Apparently nothing happened. I don't know. Mm. They were staking out your house. Yeah. Damn right. You guys were about to be home alone five. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So yeah, we, uh, (laughs) (laughs) I I remember that. Bury the bodies. Fucking, uh, what's the guy's name? The you gave me so name. much. Oh, Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, he just like walks in the front door. <laughs> ready. <the> shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the first Last of Us was great. I loved it. Fuck. Seven years later, Last of Us Two comes out. I get it. Day one. I'm, yeah. pl- I'm playing it with my girlfriend. It is fucking incredible. Yeah. It is. That's what you said. In my opinion. The best looking game I've ever played. Sure. I haven't played Red Dead yet. Red Dead's up there. Yeah, yeah. it looks good. I haven't played Red Dead yet, but this game just like is fucking incredible. Just like the scenery and how the mm-hmm. graphics are and the textures and the face models are fucking ridiculous. The gameplay is better than the last. The okay. AI is upgraded and smarter. Good. And it's the gameplay isn't like anything crazy. It's just like you hide, you shoot. Yep. What what more? Yeah. What more can you do? This isn't Bayonetta. You you, know? you, you walk forward, you see waist high cover, you pull out your gun. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's but it's, it's it's super good. And it's put the story so far. Have you not beaten it? No, I'm like 17 hours in. Okay. So he's getting there. Yeah. But the story so far is super interesting. It hurt my soul, man. Kill my boy Joe. They <laughs> killed my boy Joe. <laughs> Joe's the main character in the first game. Yep. First hour again, he fucking they, they take him out. Yeah, but you gotta respect the the hole in one Abby gets though. You gotta Fuck. give a golf clap. First on of that. all, okay. So the person who kills Joe <laughs> you is, is, it, is this <laughs> is this ogre. buff <laughs> ass him. bitch yeah. named Abby. She's buff as fuck. Yeah. I hate fuck. I hate this bitch. Yeah. They make you play as her. Yep. I fucking I can't stand her. She are has you, a fucking you attitude right problem. Now? No, I'm still Ellie. Okay. Do you enjoy that you're playing as her? As Abby? Yeah. No, I hate Abby. Does it dampen the game experience for you? That's I like haven't played. I'm contention g- for a lot of people. I kind of know I'm going to play as her again. But you, you played with her before you killed Joe. Okay. So you don't know. You're just like, who's this bitch? Yeah. And then she kills That's Joe. Weird. And then you play as Ellie. Yeah. And like the whole point of the story is like Ellie getting revenge. Yeah. So I'm looking for Abby. I fucking hate Abby. They did a great job of making me hate her. Because if I didn't feel anything toward, toward her, it'd be a problem. Yeah. But I hate this buff bitch for a yeah, reason. But I don't know. What? She's just genocidal. Like, she's just a murderer from yeah. what I've heard. I haven't played it. So is I, Ellie and Joel. I, I don't like, like everybody's a fucking murderer. From f- I, I got to the part where I think, if you guys played the first one, this makes sense. I think... She was related to the Fireflies or was a Firefly, and Joe kind of fucked the Fireflies real hard yeah. in the last game, murdered a lot of them. So I think that's why she murdered him, because she murdered, just getting she revenge. She has a really good reason. Which is also one of the, I have a feeling that the story is going to have a moral, which is uh, goes back to the Boys in the Hood. Have you guys seen Boys in the Hood? No. Yes, actually. Okay. <laughs> Bro, you're talking to a dude who watched Bebe's kids. Yes, I've seen Boys in the Hood was good, though, right? Yeah. And the one, well, the moral of the story is like, 
a revenge killing is gonna trigger another revenge killing is gonna trigger another revenge killing. Yeah. yeah, if you if you go out for revenge, dig two graves. Eye for an eye. Yeah. 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 And like it's just a cycle that never ends. So somebody has to be strong enough to end it. Yeah. And uh I mean, I got a feeling that this is gonna go in that route. Okay. Or hopefully try to teach us that, or it could just Ellie get her kill and you know, everything's fine. But like I was, the story is fucking great. The characters so far. There's this girl named Dina, who's like right there with Ellie. She's like Ellie's partner. Yeah, she's kind of the Ellie of this game. Oh man, I love Dina. She's your partner, and she just helps you do a little bit, a little bit here and there. Yeah, like inexperienced. She, no, like she's, Ellie was in the first no. She game. she's she's a right there with you as a murderer. No, like she's she's a well established. I know how to live in this society. Here. Yeah, she she's great. She, she's Ellie's like love interest. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm in love. Watch the things. mask; it might poke your butt. <laughs> yeah, watch the mask, Noah, out there. But um, it might just poke your buns. I, I I appreciate everything they did with Dina. I wasn't sure about it when I first saw her, but the way Dina backs Ellie up in the story and in gameplay wise. I fell in love with her. She's great. <laughs> There's one time when Amy was was playing, and somebody saw Ellie, or, and Dina just blasted him in the head. It was fucking beautiful. It was beautiful. I was like, "Yeah, that's my girl." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got this character named Jesse. I don't like Jesse. He's the Asian dude. Yeah, I, I'm not feeling him. But we'll see. We're playing with him right now. I don't think I. I honestly think his AI is worse than Dina's. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes no sense. <laughs> but is that just your racism shining through? You hate you hate AI. <laughs> no, no, no. Just like uh, his 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 AI does not kill like Dina does. So we'll we'll see how he does. We're still playing it with him. But man, I really really appreciate this game. You're almost finished, aren't you? No, I have no clue. He still has to play as Abby. I thought he was currently playing as Abby. No, he's I'm still Abby. He really? you you play as Abby in the beginning. And, and then it was you like a ten-hour section of Abby. I yeah. thought it was like Ellie. Not at the Abby, beginning, Abby, Ellie. No. Well, spoilers, so Abby, spoilers. Ellie, okay. Abby, okay. Yeah. No, no. It's it's. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't spoil shit for for Darius. You play as characters. Yeah. He's, imagine. He's right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't even time frames. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's gonna be ten hours. Goddamn. Okay. But um. <laughs> this no is a remorse. long fucking game. You said you're seventeen in already. Yeah, seventeen hours in. Uh, the the beginning where you play as Abby is like only like two hours ish, right? You play with her for like thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, okay. Yeah. And then you switch to Ellie. Okay. So, yeah. And then Ellie's a huge portion. And then it's Abby. And then you play, yeah. They they shift focus again. Yeah. So anyway, um, I appreciate everything about the game. The game's beautiful. I'm enjoying it. Uh, my girlfriend was telling me mm. she's like, I think this may be the best game I ever played, and I was thinking. What is the best game I ever played? How do you decide that? It's personal preference entirely. Yeah. And I was thinking like I don't know, I was I was breaking it down in categories of like gameplay has to be on point, story has to be on point, the presentation has to be on point, like mm-hmm. as in so the best game. So like this gameplay is good. It's about a seven. <laughs> it's nothing like crazy. Yeah. But I was I was trying to figure out the best game I ever played. And I think I figured it out. Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, can please game. continue. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm like sitting here and I'm like, I know Darius hates that game. He really soul searched. But, uh, Did you take some hard acid and come to this conclusion? But, 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 I, but, but really, I, I gotta give it to Sekiro. 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 Sekiro I, uh, Do you like, I was thinking about that game as you were talking. And I'm like, shit, that really is like, like one of the best games I've ever played. Yeah, I think I think it hits the categories, every category very high, mm-hmm. which makes it the one, like the best game I ever played. Like, but in close second would probably be RE4. But something about Sekiro's gameplay is is just better. Yeah. Then R, but RE4 has also came out what 2003, 2005, something like that. But the only thing, the only bad thing about Sekiro is what it's not bad. I think Sekiro lacks in like the storytelling. I, I think the story mm-hmm. could be told better. Well, the story's not bad, the story's know. told great. I don't know about the. I just feel like it could have been told a little bit better. I want you to elaborate. Here. Yes, please. That giant rope monster came out of nowhere and just picked you up and dropped you, and it made no sense. Sure. I'm like, 
I, I don't was, think there's any lore about it. It's just, um, it just came game. out of fucking nowhere. Which is, uh, the, the road monster was fine. It was cool. It's just like, You whoop. just didn't expect it? Yeah. Giant it's, it's, god rope monster. It just came out of nowhere and no one talked about it. No one was like, I, I saw a giant road monster. Because <laughs> that motherfucker was the size of a mountain, literally. Yeah. So, but everything else is about Sekiro. Sekiro's great. I love Sekiro. Yeah. And uh, I, I think another, like, one of the best games, like, top three would be Sekiro, Resident Evil 4, and, and DMC 5. Yeah, DMC really? five is that that gameplay is great. The story is great. Like everything about yeah. DMC five is top tier. Yeah, from the presentation to the audio to the characters to the writing is all fantastic. There's not a bad character in the entire game. Yeah, yeah. Everything shit. about DMC five is, is you fucking phenomenal. Shit. Yeah, maybe I should play it. Maybe yeah. you should play it. <laughs> Please borrow it again. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what what's, what are some of y'all best games? And how do you categorize a Best game. Well, okay, so I'll, I'll take point on this because I've, I've talked about this with Darius before and I've talked about it with Noah, I think, maybe once or twice, but I fucking hate rating systems in what modern day. Like the, the 1 out of 10, like 0 out of 10 scoring oh, sure. because it's all bad. And, like, you were talking about how it's, like, kind of based on how schoolwork is, and that's bullshit because schoolwork needs to be adjusted too. Yeah, yeah like, school system sucks. Yeah, but, like, like I, everything, like, if you look at, like, major reviews or whatever, right, Anything below a seven is like, don't play this. It's garbage. And it's like, but it's a fucking seven. Like five right. should be, this is the middle of the road. No, no, it's nobody's good, saying it's that bad. it's garbage if it's a seven. I've bought and, games that got a seven. I've bought games, seen the review, seen the guy seven and said, okay, I'm going to buy this. Yeah, but there are a lot of people that don't. Well, they're, they're dumb. C- congratulate. You're right. <laughs> but it's the fact that the system is broken. But if the game got a five, that would re- I'll be like, eh, I want to buy it. Yeah, but a five is, this is an okay game. You yeah. know? Like, there are loads of games that are fives. Like, Devil May Cry 1 is a fucking five. Yeah, but, but it's at the time fun. it came out, it's, it was kind of important yeah. to the well, yeah, to but the it's, industry. Yeah. But, but it's, it's the fact that, like, every normal person will look at anything below a seven and not right. buy it. That's just how most gamers are, That's like dumb. that yeah. go into stores like GameStop and buy games. Like I think it if it's like sucks. what six or lower, probably just skip it. Exactly, yeah. and it's like, but there are some killer fucking games right. that are at low score. You know, like it's like, holy shit! Um, like look at God Hand. God Hand got like panned across the board. We're lo- we're talking oh, like really? threes and fours and twos. Well, wasn't that because the the, the reviewers didn't understand how to even play it? Exactly, and that's why reviews suck. <laughs> like I don't want to bring him up, but look at that reviewer for IGN. But I will say this: for I, I will yeah. say this. Reviews are important, though, because like I was talking to Matt the other day, and I saw they had a gameplay trailer of the new Marvel game, yeah, the yeah. Avengers one, yeah. And it was like gameplay of Thor doing Thor things. Yeah, I was talking to Matt. I was like, something about this game is missing. I can't put my finger on it. Yeah, it this is soul. this is targeted toward me, but I don't want it. Yeah, and I don't know why. And I literally was like, I got to see the reviews to even like think to even right. try to give it a chance. And if that yeah. gets a seven, are you going to pay sixty dollars for it? If it's a seven, yeah, yeah. If it's like a four or five, no. My yeah. roommate was saying it looks like Anthem. Yeah, it has the same vibes. Is that is, is that is that the the fucking taste? That's the mech one. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 it's. Because it, it looks like it's it's all style and no substance. Yeah. Because it's like, you love comics, right? And we're like, yeah, but we want it to be Spider-Man. Yeah. Like, give us give the us. quality I was, I was of Marvel telling, Spider-Man. I was telling Je- Matt, this, I was like, maybe, maybe, like, subconsciously, I know those old movie games mm-hmm. would, like, me buying them as kids be like, yeah. I like I like Spider-Man, you know, and buying <laughs> Spider-Man 1. Like the first Spider-Man one movie game Dude, on the PS one. Oh, the PS two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the the, the, the yeah, Tobey yeah, Maguire yeah. one. Yeah. Like that game was Dude. cool, but it's, <laughs> it's like bad. it's super like I love it. it's limited and like I was thinking because you can't go on the streets in the first one. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking like maybe that's what this one is. This, this adventure game it, like like it feels like a it feels like that, but which title. is a high budget for like visuals. Yeah. Yeah, the high budget Deadly Alliance. Yeah. Deadly Alliance. Deadly Alliance is Mortal Kombat. Yeah. What what is it? The it's Spider-Man something. one? Dark uh, uh w- what? There's a Marvel game that's like something Alliance. Ultimate Alliance? Maybe. It's the only one I'm thinking of. There's a group. Yeah, it's Ultimate Alliance 3. 
Or it's, one, ulti- or two. it's probably ultimate. That's alliance. the one where you can play as loads of different yeah, model characters. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's a high budget ultimate alliance. Yeah, kind of with less characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like uh, that sucks. That like it's like I'm getting that feeling from because this game is for me. I'm the I'm the filthy casual who sees yeah. every fucking Marvel movie. Yeah, it goes out to every fucking Marvel movie. It's just like. But that's also why it's not for you, right? Because you just spent ten years of Chris Evans, and now you look at this Captain America, and you go, "That's not Chris Evans." It's, but that's not that's not. I don't care about the like them how they look. Oh, I can yeah. get past that. Yeah, yeah. I can. Get, but also, I was telling I was telling Matt this. The, to my opinion, Black Widow looks like the most interesting character to play. Mm. That's sad. Which is yeah, which is sad when you have Iron Man. Yeah. Which is very sad when you have Iron Man because Iron Man he just looks like. It, it, maybe it's like I know these are just gonna be basic ass go for levels, and if I'm playing them as Iron Man, you can I don't tell want it's a that. fucking hallway. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's what it is. I want to like this game. See, yeah. you, Darius, <laughs> you and I particularly are shafted on that shit too with Iron Man in particular because we will always want Iron Man. We want a 3D Iron Man that plays like how we want Marvel 2 Iron Man to play. Like Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Iron Man, where he's like pulling out <laughs> the, the fucking, fucking proton big ass. cannons and shit, yeah. <laughs> right? Or like you want to play like how the last scene of Avengers Endgame was, where he and Pepper Potts are both in their suits spinning and like shooting the lasers. Yeah. You want to feel like that, and you won't, because mm-hmm. they don't, they're never going to, how are they going to make think, that system? I think it'd be cool if they gave different superheroes different things to do yeah like if you played as iron man and you were like attacking an airship he'd stay like outside and like destroy drones or that's what they're trying to do but it's halfway done right like we have to see more also you know what i think it is i'm okay with a game like marvel ultimate alliance 3 because i know there's 80 fucking characters yep and i know there's limitations i'm okay with that i feel like this is a halfway step in between Ultimate Alliance and Spider Man on PS4. Yeah, this is and the it's halfway not, it's step. Not the halfway step we wanted. Exactly. Like it needed to pick one or the other. Yeah. And try to lean more into it. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I just realized too. What we really want is we want Zone of the Enders Iron Man Edition. Oh, I picked up Zone of the Enders. Yeah. On my PC. VR. It's like yeah, it just has VR for it. Bro, Bro we. I yeah. want to play that in VR <laughs> so fucking bad. Yeah, that's why I picked it up. It was only like seven bucks, and I was like, "Fuck it, dirt cheap." Yeah. Oh my god! Wow. So, oh, yeah, that was like my whole spiel about Avengers. But yeah, best games. Uh, what what see, what makes the best game to you? So, so what is the best game you ever played? Because I I don't do perfect tens. There's no such thing as a perfect game. Period. Yeah. Because like you know whatever. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time, and I'll always rep it. Mega Man Legends One. The art style's on point. Like the characters are fun and interesting. The combat's like good. Like it's it's you know. Mm-hmm. It's not that long, so you don't get bored of it. I fucking love that game, but I'm not gonna say it's not fucking five. You know, like like it's it's an okay game, sure, but it's not. But it's one of my favorites. Yeah. You know, because like it does everything right. The controls are snappy. The like the upgrades feel strong and they feel well spaced. Like it's just a good. It's just game. a well made game. Yeah, but like it's fucking Mega Man Legends on PS One. You know, like. <laughs> Sure, Devil May Cry 5. Like, I had way more fun with that in general than I did Mega Man Legends 1, but I look fondly on Mega Man Legends I mean, that's 1, the so same thing. Fucking weird, same thing with, Ari, with me and RE4. You can't even move and shoot. Yeah. It, it, like, at that time... Still blew our minds, because we were still used to fucking, not having a camera in yeah. Resident Evil. It was fucking incredible. <laughs> what do you mean I can look through this door and shoot this yeah. <laughs> Italian man? Well, you know, what was the best game you ever played? I don't know. Yeah, I, I want to say Sekiro. Sekiro. <laughs> Sekiro's a but fucking like, good solid game. Yeah. Even, like, today when I'm looking for games, I always try to look at, like, what am I getting for the time that I spent playing this? Yeah. Which I think is a bad way to look at video games, but... Meh. I think yeah, it's but like, fine. What do you mean, like, what you getting for like, a time? If a game's, like, kind of fun, but, like, there's no progression system at all, and it's just, like, I just feel like I'm doing... earning nothing by playing this game. What? So something like, like, you wouldn't be interested in, um... Borderlands? Well, no, no, you level up in that. No, I was gonna say like, uh, like Stardew Valley isn't a game you'd be interested in because even though you're getting stuff, you don't feel accomplished. Maybe. Yeah, maybe because it's not like I can't show off anything. I guess. Yeah. Nah, man, that's what Twitter's for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just post pictures and shit. Hell yeah. Like, I, I love League of Legends, 
I shit on it all the time, but like I always like kind of play it every once in a while. Yeah, you always go back. Yeah, it's just fun. Abusive relationship. You should. You should run. Yeah, <laughs> I just. <laughs> I just League love of Legends like touch learning you. shit about the game <laughs> and like applying new stuff. Darius wants to play League with you guys sometime. Is that right? I wanted to play the. Uh, you the want po- to play the League Pokemon of Legends? Came, the, have you seen the Pokemon League? Yeah. No, we'll fucking talk about that. James, show me that shit. And like I was, I was just a fucking sucker for brand. <laughs> so, so it James, does not look good. James was like, "You see this shit?" And I'm like, "I always wanted to play League, Pokemon League, dude. If you yes. legitimately want to play League, I'm like halfway decent." He James tells me that it's, he tells me that it's, it's a cancer. It's, it's no, nothing yeah. good will come of it. it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. you might like it, but I bounced off that I've, game harder than anything. Yeah, I've played like more than three thousand games. And Holy like, shit! I wouldn't say I'm on the fence, but like I understand when people say they hate League completely. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I was playing League in like fucking beta and whatever. Like yeah. I was playing since the beginning, and I liked what I did. But I was like, I can't do this every fucking day. Yeah. Like there's there's for me it was a I lack just, of like player agency. Sure. Because like I don't know, I'm not a big fan of click and go. Yeah, I fucking hated that when I st- first started playing. I'm like, why can't I use WASD? Mm-hmm. I don't want to play this game. So I like stopped playing it for a year. And then when I got in college, all my friends were playing it. So I picked it up and just got super into it. Yep. I, I tried to go again. Mm-hmm. With the same thing. I was like, oh, neat. Nah. And then in college, I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I'll play with you guys because my four friends are all playing it <laughs> yeah. and I can't do anything else. Like, I'm at your house and I'm like, let's, let's, let's roll. <laughs> um and like nah, I still I love the character I played, even though he's mm-hmm. fucking shit tier. But whatever. Isn't yeah. there a Darius character? Yeah, nice. Darius character. Yeah. What do you mean? The guy named Darius. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is he good? No. Oh uh, yeah, he's one of the best top laners right now. Cool. I think at least when I was playing, I think uh, ADCs have start going top recently. Uh, ADCs. Uh, attack damage carries. Yeah. Uh, they generally belong in the bot lane. Uh, there's a top you're, you're laner, talking a mid laner, a jungler, <laughs> and then a support and an ADC. ADCs are generally auto attackers, and they just. This is all different up. language. I don't understand yep. anything you fucking talk about. Dude, I can talk about like game theory and all of this shit. Like, I I honestly love that stuff. Yeah. Just like getting nitty gritty. Get granular. Get like, real granular. So like when you're jungling, like, <sighs> I I I love this shit. I don't know. The fuck is I don't want to bore you guys. Uh, so, so there's a position. There's monsters. So the way that you get golden league is by destroying minions that run down the lanes, okay. and that's where the majority of your income comes from. But the jungler stays outside of lanes and in like the forest area because there's monsters there, and the jungler's job is to help lanes by killing the other people or blowing cooldowns and keeping track of the other jungler. So that you can counter gank or that sounds take like a lot to fucking. There's a lot to learn. Deal actually. with. Yep. Jungling's difficult, and not just because you have to know a lot of shit. Yeah, and not only this, but this is also not getting into the fact that each character has their own abilities. You yep. have to remember. And I know all of them. There's and like 120 plus champions. There are 30 <laughs> oh 30 abilities that you can have that are just summoner abilities, There's like flash. And, is it 10? They cut them down. Oh, a did lot. they? Okay. Yeah. Like, um, Revive's not a thing anymore. Nice. Um, I know a few of them. They've changed summoner spells to do different stuff. Plus, you've got Masteries that are super impactful. And, and those are, like, passive There's, like, four buffs. different kinds with each kind having, like, four Is different Pokemon things. Pokemon going to have all this? Probably. No. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> nah, man. Probably. <laughs> you pick a character and kill guys in a forest and then... You uh, play, I guess. And and then this is also not counting the items that you can buy, yep. which are equipment that you there are some that you need to buy multiple different things yeah. to fuse into stronger ones. It's holy and shit. Bro, and and league there's is there's counter items and items that you generally want to buy, items you always buy, and that's there's a lot to it. And okay. I just love all that shit. So if you want to play, feel free. Dude, yeah. I mean I'll I'm gonna I'm gonna dip my toe with Pokemon. If, okay, so I would argue that if you dip your toe in Pokemon and you enjoy it, you might want to play some Heroes of the Storm a little bit I because that's. Heroes. But it's like it's not as deep as League in the way of like, yeah, you know, it's a bit more mini gamey. Exactly. So like, it's not as fucking crazy, 
and it's all Blizzard characters. Is, is League also, that game that everybody like hates playing because people like just people are assholes? Are mean, yeah, yeah. That's well, every, every game. online game. <laughs> I mean, I've heard really bad stuff with League, though. Yeah. Like, I heard I mean, you'll get best flamed friends. if you're shit, for sure. Yeah, if you yeah. don't do well, people will just stop playing and be like, ah, he's feeding. I'm out. It's like, great. Can you? Thanks. Yeah, we had a guy literally quit a ranked game in the first two minutes because our jungler died due to the other people invading our jungle, and we ended up winning that game. Wow. That was, that was fun. <laughs> so, your best game is Sekiro? I think so. That or, like, League... Unfortunately, <laughs> 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 well, that's what I'm like saying. Like I love it, but yeah, I, 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 I. That's the thing. People will say they like it, but then I will almost never hear positive things about the game, and <laughs> that's why I equate it to an abusive relationship. Because yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, no, the game's fine. It's great, but it's I just, fucking hate this. It's just a one v nine every game. Yeah, and it sucks. It's wow. <laughs> <laughs> a really good way to play. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so I mean that's that's cool. That's league. I was watching Tyler one. He was like talking about some guy who got banned from like a league thing. So like if you're a content creator, you can get a league account that like gives you a shit ton of skins because Riot wants to make money. And some guy got banned for it by saying that he was upset about a guy that AFK'd in his game and so he got reported what's for it. Away from, uh, away keyboard. from keyboard. Oh. So like in his rank game, a guy just stopped playing because he didn't want to play five minutes in and then the guy who got banned was talking about how he didn't like that the guy went AFK. Okay. <laughs> and then he went into a rant about one of his games where he lost because his top laner was shit. And, like, he played by played, like, all of the shit he did correct. And he's like, I should be able to say whatever the fuck I want to these people. <laughs> 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 yeah. Gotta love Riot. Yeah. Riot's a hoot and a half, man. Okay, man. So, yeah. I mean, but they also made Valorant. I think the progression of that game is kind of shit, but it's yeah, also like, pretty early. Valorant is a really fun game that has a lot of things that irk me, which I think is how a lot of people even feel about League. Yeah. And, like, I'm sure people will feel about the fighting game, and I'm sure people will feel, you know, like... What irks you about Valorant? Uh, certain abilities just work in really stupid ways. If I use Sage's Resurrect and I res somebody, they spawn with their handgun. Why? Yeah. Why? Spawn them with their <laughs> I thought, main I gun. I thought that was a glitch. No, you gotta swap. Nope, you gotta swap. That's how they want it to play. Why? I would understand if it was you spawn with the last equipped gun you had. Yeah. But it's clearly something. No, no, no it's it's obviously, it's like a, a an oversight because I'm sure what happens is that when you spawn, you technically spawn with no gun. The mm -hmm. game has to remember what gun is on the ground next to you and then pick it up. And then pick it up. So you start with the handgun equipped, which is yeah. why it doesn't equip a main gun. It's a complete oversight. Yeah, it's that probably, is not on yeah, purpose. It's probably because you drop your gun when you die. Exactly. So. Because other people can pick it up. Right. So it's a complete oversight. I'm sure they're going to fix it, but it's mm -hmm. annoying now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I know that you motherfuckers are listening. That like, did happen. You did res me one time. And I have a handgun and somebody is right there. Yep. And, and that fucked. happened to Dan. And that happened to Noah. Yep. And that happens to <laughs> everyone you res if yeah. it's in a high, like tense situation yeah and it's like i get it but you're wrong <laughs> i'd almost rather them spawn you with the fucking knife so you could try to get away quicker like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so since we're here you guys cool talking more about valorant yeah i'll talk I mean, about yeah valorant. i love valorant valorant's great it's another abusive relationship <laughs> Until they get that progression figured out i'm all smiles right now oh yeah i'm, I'm still having fun even when i lose yeah even if it's a fucking pub stomp. It's just, uh, I'm playing my friends. Win. I'm happy. <laughs> it's loser talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to win. Hey, man. I've got to at least have the most kills on my team. Yeah. <laughs> so how mad were you the last couple games yeah, when you were right. near the bottom? <laughs> it's always the worst. No, I looked away yeah, like, fuck did. you. Yeah, he did. He was actually, he was like, oh. <laughs> Looking wistful out the <laughs> fucking window. Oh, my KD. It's always the worst. <laughs> Sticking a sight with cypher and they never come mm -hmm. i was getting lucky on split just straight defense they kept funneling b yep uh, god you feel so strong <laughs> like there's nothing they can do without you knowing it's Dude, great it always made me upset too when people would like because we had a system on yeah. that level and it's like it's just one I person b, per hallway you take mid like, yeah dan honestly, takes like, mid to mid a yeah mid a 
there should be probably like eh, maybe two mid A and then one mid B mm-hmm. and then me on B and then one. Well, because the the other person that is what it is. One gets on A and they look at the the main hallway and mm-hmm. then the other person is A heaven, um, so that they could run to mid if they need to. Yep. But that jet keeps kept coming towards me yeah. and you and She'd it's sit like in the corner with me and it's like bro bro i have b locked down like, don't come at in minimum here. i can give you enough time to rotate yeah yeah and it's like you won't you shouldn't need to because the other two people who are mid are there yep. like i can literally just turn around and i'm looking at yeah you're there fucking in b, like basically. three seconds it's like it's fine just back off and i'm sage so i can wall if somebody's there but right. you need help it's just boop we got 20 seconds yeah like it's great. I love Valor, and I want to play it tonight. If you guys are down. I have fun shooting yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. It's great, dude. <laughs> hey, man. Shooting things is good. One tapping somebody, oof, that always feels good. What's one tap? One one shot. Head like shot. headshot? Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was getting some BD flicks last night. Yeah. Yeah, and also some bullshit RNG bullet spread totally helped me out. <laughs> there was a time that I was running, and I got shot, and I looked, didn't even aim, and I just popped once, and it was head gone and i was like well i shouldn't have gotten that one but i guess i'll take it <laughs> like i know he's mad buddy it's okay i am too like <laughs> you know for the most part spray isn't rng yeah yeah but i was i was full running turned while moving and oh, shot shit. so there's no way that yeah. bullet wasn't rng <clears throat> yeah, it's the same thing of like counter-strike where it's not technically rng it's like yeah. similar spray patterns yeah, basically yeah. for each like for the gun it's there is an rng element like when the gun goes side to side yep the time it takes for it to switch side to side is random mm. yeah i appreciate i like the abilities in there everybody has it just makes mm. everybody feel so much more different what's cool is that uh I heard that Riot wants to kind of move away from CSGO. Like, right now, it's very CSGO with Mm -hmm. how the abilities work. But they said that it's going to be less like CSGO as they introduce more characters because they want to get more crazy with abilities than just trying to keep, like, smokes and stuff. Yeah. Probably try to keep it, like you were saying, how they're going to have more characters that have DK or something. Um, It's cool. I just really hope that they don't be Riot about it and be like, hey, new character unlocked. You got to play... 20 games to unlock to be I able mean, to try them you just fucking set up the contract and passively earn them it's true but then you're like by the time that you get there people who it's pay to win kind of because it's like the people mm. who decided to pay real money to buy that character only if that character is like super op it's not pay to win i, I mean, mean but we'll, it's we'll it's still pay to win how, you, how if, you buy, really? if you buy the character then you have weeks of or like a week to you know two weeks of experience on that character over mm-hmm. other people so you're just outright better for more time for that so you are character. winning exactly but it doesn't make you a better shooter right but if their abilities are good you're right at like op or whatever but if they're like neat or whatever it's still pay to win mm-hmm. like you're paying to win how things. else would riot get their money james you're struggling. right i'm just know. saying they're that's, struggling that's, right the, that's dis- riot's I business disagree. model i disagree i, I don't fair. think characters like that are pay to win Personally. that's fair <laughs> no, you're okay, allowed, you're, it's like dan said you're allowed yeah. your wrong opinion <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not wrong though okay. right, fun. i have fun playing my friends oh it's super good yeah. we need to play more yeah. like tonight and you're playing viper right yeah are you hard maining her or are you still on the phones i think i'm i think i'm gonna hard main i like her defensive like okay. techniques i like putting up those walls and throwing the one I yeah. like that she could pick up her fucking smoke grenade mm-hmm. a lot. That's, That's fucking super cool. strong. Yeah. And her ultimate is very useful for when you have to plant the spike. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah I've seen it. dirty shit with yeah. her fucking ult. Oh, like, yeah. Like, people using it and, like, going outside of it so people try and defuse the bomb. And it, I don't know. That's super sick. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big Viper fan. And I want to pick up rays so I can fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was, you show you showed me a video. Yeah, and I was like, "This is too, yeah, but it's high so level good. Right? It's too real, Roy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "I don't, even, I don't even understand what they're doing." Triple jumping, yeah, with the fucking rocket launcher. Yep, like, fuck, dude. You don't have to flex that hard. <laughs> no, <laughs> wasting your ult. Nah, dude, but it's for funsies. Yeah, it's for the clip. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. You got anything up for the docket? 
on the docket. Oh, I've got loads of shit to yeah, talk we got about. Cyberpunk. Yeah, Cyberpunk. You guys watch it. Got fucking hard delayed, but also Watching? showed some stuff. Yeah. yeah, they showed trailers. A uh, new gameplay trailer. Plus, uh, they gave a demo to a journalist. When when I know I'm gonna buy a game, I try not to look at anything else. Sure. Because I won't. I want to be surprised. Yeah. yeah. So, Which is totally fair. So now we can't talk about cyberpunk. I mean, you talk, <laughs> talk about it. I'm, what, what are you gonna? I mean, the melee fighting looks about as bad as Skyrim, which is fine. Yeah. You're supposed to use guns, um, so like whatever. I, I hate melee yeah. in first person anyway. I'm sure you can like strength build. Oh yeah. yeah. You, you know what I saw? I saw something for uh, Dying Light. There's like a new update or something where you yeah they've been putting updates out like all the time for the first one so yeah really? it's something where you like you go into like a is that story or is that j- just run around it could go either way because this event is like you're fighting skeletons oh, really? like yeah. like they look like undead old warriors like That's they're in so... armor and shit um it could just be an event because they do a lot of just events yeah but, yeah oh. um so we already we already kind of talked about it so I guess we'll talk about it again right now. Uh, Pokemon Unite looks like a complete fucking like hack job ripoff. Is that yeah. the yeah the MOBA? I'm the so wind. excited, man! Dude, that, that brand so, gets me. Flash in the pan. It's <laughs> so obviously like stole like not stolen, but like the grass is the sa- same shade of green as like league grass, and oh, like yeah. there's no dude. The screenshots look unforgivably stolen. <laughs> Like, hang on, let me let me bring them up because I don't think Darius has really looked at them. I I saw that one thing that you posted, and that's it. Do we know how many Pokemon are gonna be available? I think it's, it's ten. Like ten yeah. yeah, Charizard. I'll, give me Charizard. Charizard's that's all I need. I do think it's cool that you evolve throughout the game. You yeah, evolve? That's cool. Yeah. I'm in already. What? That's fucking dope. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. But combat looks super unfun. Like it just I mean, looks it, like a fucking does it look like a, a Wii game? Yes, but it's free, right? Yeah, well, kind of free to start, as yeah. Nintendo likes to say. You think they're gonna like make you pay for their like good absolutely? Yeah. It's ten cent. Of course, they're gonna fucking nickel and dime you. <laughs> you get a Pikachu, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? You want you want Charmander? Twenty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want a shiny skin? Thirty. Like. <laughs> It's kind of genius. It's going to make money. Absolutely. Because children don't make know money. any better. Yeah. Darius. Oh. Hey, man. The brand <laughs> has me. No, it doesn't. It does. I have no it interest doesn't. in playing something. I want It's like no competition to it. Yeah. I want to bring this up because Darius said that I love the brand too much. And it's like, this motherfucker hasn't bought the last 20 Pokemon games. So I'm not going <laughs> to hear that you like the brand. That's because those, that's cause those, those games yeah, yeah. don't interest me anymore. It's the brand. Yeah, it's the brand though, Darius. Yeah, the brand they 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 made they finally made something that's not a <laughs> baby's first RPG. Yeah, it's baby's first MOBA. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Give me that. Um. So uh, as a more better news for Pokemon, because why did they fucking sh- be like we're gonna show you something new in another video and everyone's like, oh my god, it's the next remake, yeah. and then they were like Pokemon Unite by Ted Cent, and everyone went, <laughs> why good job? Why waste? Yeah, are they time? not doing a Let's Go Johto or what? At least not yet. Let's Go Johto. Yeah. I'd fucking play that. Yeah, I, I, I would Johto. actually buy that. Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon oh, Snap too. No, really? I'm, I'm done with Pokemon, dude. Sure. Unless they really like fucking bring it up. Change it. Yeah, like I'm I'm out. Unless they show that they care about it and try to put in more budget than none, <laughs> like bare minimum budget. That's funny. Um, but no, fucking Pokemon Snap too. Yeah, it's mostly exactly what I wanted. Yeah, it looks the same. Yeah, it's just better. Yeah. Like graphics. Yeah. The only thing that they uh, fucked up on is that uh, there's no Todd. No. no Todd. Yeah, Todd's, just, Todd's they, not the per the cameraman. Damn. Why? Because they're fucking shit. They don't want to bring up the <laughs> anime. What anime? Shut up. <laughs> he no was, Todd, no fucking Bob. But he was like, important. Kind of. You think they'll make a new professor? I hope not. I hope it's Oak again. Yeah? Yeah. It better be Oak. It's probably not going to be Oak. It's probably going to be whatever the current professor is. Sure. Like, who's the professor for Sword and Shield? It's a dude with glasses. Some old bitch. Some old bitch. <laughs> it, oh. <laughs> it, <sighs> I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm going to buy Pokemon Snap. I will if it's $30 or less. I bought it on the Wii. It's not a premium price yeah. for me. And uh, I remember oh, I playing it. Buy it on the Wii. Yeah. yeah, I remember playing it on Wii and being like, "Eh, this is, wasn't as good as I remember." Yeah. Yeah. This was good as a kid. Yeah, I, I filled yeah. it out and then I was like, "That was that was fun." Yeah, it's ten dollar fun title. Yeah, dude. I mean that's fine. 
you know, that's, that's all yeah, you the need. We had some choice. They kind of missed their boat. Though. Huh? So the Wii had some, like, choice virtual yeah. console games. Absolutely. Where are you at, Switch? <laughs> my my question on. is to Game Freak. Or what took you so long? People have been for asking what? for this. For Pokemon, Pokemon Snap 2. Oh, okay. The Wii U was the perfect system for this. I thought we were still talking about the MOBA for some reason. Oh, <laughs> really? Nah, we... <laughs> ship a sail. Like, <laughs> people have been asking for this since the 64. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've uh, also been asking for another stadium. Why? Game. Why is 2020 the right time? They just Let need me. to release micro, no, mini games. Yeah, give us a Pokemon party and just have it be. Oh my god, a Pokemon Mario party? Clone? Yeah, that's what Fuck we yeah, really dude. need. Game Freak, that's free. Dude. Take that. Yeah, that's that's on the house. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> free gratis. I would totally play. I would buy a sixty dollar game if it had, even if it was just sixty mini games. A dollar a mini game for that 100%. shit. Easy peasy. Yeah, yeah. If it, if it were just literally Pokemon themed mini games and Mario Party's engine, yeah, hundred. You know what? Let's say seventy eight mini games. How would they? Or seventy six? Because I want they, the original uh, uh, games too. So, who would you, you play, as play as a Pokemon, Pokemon Stadium? Absolutely. Dude, I will. I have beat them your both. ass in Pokemon Stadium. No, you don't want the fucking games. smoke, dude. You don't want the smoke. <laughs> you don't want the smoke. Just Bro. stop it. Just stop it, sir. He will beat you stop in it, almost sir. every mini game except for the counting mini game. <laughs> Yeah, you don't, you, you, you don't understand the hours I put into that, dude. Dude, you you don't understand. What's your the best mini game? I don't know. I dare you oh no! You, I, <laughs> I dare you to say Pichu. I was gonna say the Diglett one. Is there a Diglett one? There is a Diglett one. The Diglett one, bitch. Do you remember and what you do in the Diglett one? In one, it's it's like Whack a Mole, right? Kind of. It's yeah. A, it's oh, ring toss. Yeah, that's one. I'm talking about Wing One Stadium Two. I never played Wing One Stadium Two. Ooh, this will be great. Objectively better mini games. I'm sure. I, I, I know the versus po- video we've got coming out. Pokemon guys. Stadium oh, yeah. Two it's was so like weird. one of those like childhood things where like you beg your mom for it but you never get it. Yep. It was, it was Dude, exactly that. Like it's your biggest. I didn't even ask for it. It was great. Are I you still, trying to rub I it still, in? I still can't remember. To rub, what the fuck was that? Doing? I was like out playing outside, and my parents were like, "We got you something." And I was like, "Yeah, Pokemon like, Stadium Two. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I'm it's sure. Well, I fucking love Pokemon it's Stadium memory. One. You think we'll get a Coliseum? No, that was a fun game. When I like Coliseum. It. We might get another XD Gale of Darkness though. They don't, no. I, I don't I think Coliseum. I really, I, I agree. I really want to know what what was going through their head when they said this is the right time for Pokemon Snap Two. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> actually, disappointment. It, probably because the handheld switch is like, oh, camera. Yeah effective you know like you can the giant yeah, so the it. Wii U. yeah but the wii u they knew wasn't going to make money that's why we didn't <laughs> see a single pokemon game on it <laughs> it makes you feel like you're actually no we got the stadium on it was at the wii oh no you're right we, what? uh pokemon wii revolution no 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 no. the the fighter oh uh you pokemon. own it pokemon, pokemon tournament pokemon. that was an arcade game though first yeah so so that doesn't count it was because <laughs> they didn't want to put it on the wii u i'm sure yeah it's um, a fun game i like it yeah it's fun I wouldn't ever get it's, big into it's it. It's a little but. too rock, paper, scissors for me. Yeah. yeah. I also, I, I dislike the Naruto style camera of like the ultimate Dude, ninja I storm. The ninja storm. Well, like I, it was too hard. Like it was too, Co- uh, on, on Pokken. Sucks yeah. On Pokken. Yeah. That's what I don't always, like I think it. on like the one camera yep. and it's always behind like player one. Exactly. Yeah. And it's Which just, it's sucks. just not good. Um, but yeah, so so Pokemon Snap, cool. Um, I don't. I, I was just thinking about this in the mo- in the current day. I don't want a new Pokemon Stadium game because no. it's going to be made by Game Freak, so the animations are going to suck. Was Pokemon Stadium yeah, made by not. Game Freak? Yeah, right. Sure wasn't. I didn't think so. They, pull they didn't out? make any of the spinoffs, did they? So why would you think they'd make the new one? Was it made by the people who? Well, because I doubt <laughs> that they would give it to. Uh, wow, it doesn't actually say on here. Old games were weird. <laughs> I mean, Nintendo just wants you to show that, like, this is our shit. We own it. But, um, wasn't it made by... HAL Laboratory? Yeah, yeah, the, oh, the really? Smash Pokemon, the Smash Brothers people. Hang on, now I gotta fucking... HAL Laboratories does a lot of Kirby games. Yeah, or at he... least they did. I think they do all of them. Oh. I, I, I'm just not sure about the super recent ones. Yeah, developed by HAL Laboratory no and... Uh, uh, Nintendo EAD apparently. Dude, was. hell's always good. But yeah, they they put in the work. I I hate looking at the animations of the Pokemon Stadium games because of all the fucking work they put in. Yeah, but 
that we don't I have don't in modern day Pokemon it for the games. new ones. Yes, we can. Because those Pokemon only had four moves. I'm not trying to hear that. They only had four. I Biggest mean, yeah, money make your franchise so much love in the world, sir. Does, does, does Pokemon makes more money than Mario. Yeah. Do you want to animate thousands of attacks? They have the money to hire the people to do it. I'm not trying to hear it. Take so the time, you, spend so the money. Want, like a 10 year developed Pokemon. It's game. not gonna be 10 years. Uh, I would love that if it was a good game instead of this shit that we get. There's no way. I like, just, dude, I just, I just. I stop making excuses you. for him. I, I agree with you. Like, I just hate the animations that we have. But like, where like double kick as Pikachu jumps, sure. without moving, the model literally just floats into the air and back down, and it's like fuck you. Like you, 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 you owe us better than that. <laughs> Especially because they do like Pokemon Ami, so they they have all the models to animate. Like, yeah. And each thing, granted, I'm I know animation; it takes a while, but each move only needs to be like two seconds. Yeah, That's a lot then, of moves. But, but then it, they also have to design how each Pokemon would use that move. But and here's the thing that really matters: is they're cutting fucking Pokemon anyway. So why They're not introducing put in? Them. Yeah, but not all of them. There's like True over six hundred right now in the new one. Yeah, how many I don't are there? Fucking animate fifty moves for fucking one Pokemon. Well, you're not working for Nintendo, are you? I bet a lot of the well, Disney the animators want don't want to animate what they animate, <laughs> but they're getting paid to do it. No, no, no. They got to make money. No, yeah, you said no. Riot League of Legends. They have like 120 characters. Yeah. All unique animations are all the unique powers. Yeah. Well, they come out months apart, plus, like, the years they spend developing them. And that's just one character. And Pokemon makes more money than them. And they can take as much time as they need to. Pokemon makes a ridiculous amount of money, bro. collectively. Yeah. Video game for video game, no. Okay, but Pokemon has the money. It's worth the time. Maybe. (laughs) <laughs> well, not all of that money is going towards the game. But that's though. the thing, though. If 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 they would do that, like, if if they they would make even more money if they put the effort in, because I would have bought Pokemon Sword and Shield. I was hyped when I first saw the first trailer. Yeah. yeah before and then I saw, saw game the play. animations I gave, I him, loved, and he was like, and a lot about James is the same way. You would have bought it if they if you saw him put in effort. Yeah. They would be making even more money. On I top. don't. I don't want to say they put in no effort. Yeah, it's not, just, and I'm not saying it's a perfect game. It's not. Yeah, but. it's just that like I looked at Sword and Shield and I'm like, oh yeah, that's. That's a console Pokemon yeah. to you guys, huh? And then I just <laughs> turned 90 degrees and kept walking, you know? Like, it was a scene in New York when you're looking at the TVs in the window and you go, huh, and then you keep going, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, out of my mind, I just I just want more from them because I know they can do better, yeah. but they aren't <laughs> because they know they don't have to, and that's what hurts. And then also, like... It- like, Ryan bought both copies of the games, and even if he wasn't Jeez. married to someone who plays the games, he still would have. And, <laughs> and like, that's... They don't need to try. They 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 fucked everybody with the Pokemon Bank. Not all Pokemon are in there, correct? Yep. If you're gonna do that, do animations for all 150 new Pokemon in this region. Yeah. And make the animations good. I can t- I I can. That forces me to play with these new Pokemon. Yeah. The, the I, I, Pokemon I think game I want is only new regional Pokemon. Yeah. That's it. I'd be okay with that completely. Yeah. And then they would have time to make animations for all the Pokemon. They're just giving excuses, dude. I'm sorry. Because I, 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 well, I, mean, yeah. I think that's why I'm upset is that they cut Pokemon but didn't improve in like the other areas as much as I feel like they should have. Because I don't care that they cut Pokemon. I don't want to yeah. catch a thousand fucking Pokemon. Yeah. Give me two hundred. That's fine. I don't care. But make sure that all two hundred of those have the love that picking two hundred Pokemon entails. Mm. You know and. Uh, more so, I'm mad about the animations for like the cutscenes, where even in the cutscenes, the legendary Pokemon spins on its axis without yeah. moving its feet, yeah. and it's like, come on, that's <laughs> a cutscene. And there's a character T posing in the back. There's like, it's your cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> like that affected me more than being like like the animations of the moves, because like fuck it, turn on fast animations anyway. Like I, yeah. combat, like I'm used, I played the originals where they didn't move, you know, like mm. I, I guess I don't need it, but if you, if you showed you put in the effort in the other areas, then I wouldn't be mad about every area. I would have bought it. I was hyped for that game. I remember the first trailer. I was hyped. Mm. So they, they fucked that up. It is what it is. If they, no, I, th- I th- thought it was a fine game. Yeah. It's not I'm, I'm sure it's a fine game. But it's not a $60 buy yeah. for Darius. Yeah. Plus uh, DLC. Plus DLC, yeah. Don't buy the wrong one. 
We're yeah. not giving refunds. Don't buy the wrong one. Oh, really? Yeah, they aren't giving nice. refunds if you buy the wrong one. I think a dope Pokemon <laughs> game would be one that they just uh, created DLC for. like, But DLC was like region size. Yeah. Yeah, that's I fair. I think that would be dope. And like to go to do that uh, new region, you have to like start fresh. Yeah. I think that would be dope. Just make it like Pokemon the show. Yeah. And hey, it just you, connects. You know, like you can bring, you, you can't even bring anything because Ash right. brought Pikachu because. Yeah. But like just be like, nope, you're going. Or you can bring one Pokemon that's level five or lower. Yeah. That'd be dope. Because then you just hatch one and yeah. go go on your adventure. Yeah. New adventure, same person. That'd be sick. It'd be so cool to be able to look at all of your badge cases yep. at once. Like, it just feels so good. And you have, so like, good. PCs that are connected in one region yeah. with, like, your team there. And, yeah. It'll never happen. Nope. It would be dope, though. It, it would. would be dope. <laughs> It'd be amazing. Uh, so I hate to go backwards because I had this weird Valorant dream that I told Noah, uh, told Darius about, okay. kind of. Um but it was the weirdest thing. I think I thing. dreamed about Valorant last night, too. <laughs> well, this this <laughs> dream was it, when we started playing, and we were hooked. Okay. Uh, so, it was a mixture of Valorant and Mugen. Okay. And, and like, so there were characters that you could download and bring in mm-hmm. to play on your own. And one of the characters was Oni Plays Little Skatey. Okay. And I was like, dude, this is the weirdest <laughs> fucking was, thing. Is that Oni Plays? I well, it's, it's Cabin. Sleepy Cabin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it was like it was that, and he was like skating around really fast. And he was hard to shoot because he was low to the ground, but he didn't do much damage. But the weirder, but the weirdest one was symbiote suit Spider Man from Spider Man Three. Okay. And like when he died, he had a passive effect that would kill you instantly if you stared at his body. What? But it would give you a warning because you would look. And in, like, you know how Mugen has the shitty flashing backgrounds in, like, certain yeah. stages? That would happen in the background of the world, and it would show his face, like, the, the symbiote suit. Uh-huh. It, would be, it would flash once, flash twice if you were looking at it, and on the third flash, half of the face was a skull Yikes. because it's shitty Mugen-style, like, <laughs> graphics. And if you were looking at his body at the skull, then you died and the map that I was playing was, like, huge, like, massively vertical. Like, okay. it was a vertical map instead of a, like, sure. weirdest fucking dream. Because, like, I, it was me. I wasn't playing a character. It was just me in the <laughs> you world. Were in wow. Mugen. And, and, like... <laughs> <laughs> is this, the feeling, this feeling with Valorant right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this the feeling people had when Overwatch first came out? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. I think I... Because I've missed like that. Because, like, Noah, you and I played that a bunch, and that was before I had a wired connection. And I was yeah. like, I can't play. This is upsetting. <laughs> like, I had to play Soldier yeah, because it was, was old. shit, too, around but, that time. But we still tried, and that's, yeah. like. But my fire went out on that game, dude. Yeah. Like, like one for all, like, hu- hugging the last bit of that spark. Yeah, the la- <laughs> last bit of Hanzo, and then, and then they dusted fucking, him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then Blizzard stomped it out when they took out Scatter. And you just looked up at them. Never, never. never. <laughs> and then Riot's like, here's Valorant. I'm like, thank you. Can you breathe that in. There's this huge bonfire. Um, so I got a couple other dumb bullshit things to talk about. I want to ask you guys, uh, Road Rage, right? What's yeah. the one thing that'll fucking set you off? Because I was thinking about this on the road. Because when people don't use their turn signals, yeah. it sets me off. That's not... They could even be in front of me a good distance, and if they come into my lane... Like, I'm talking, like, three car lengths ahead, mm-hmm. and they don't use the turn signal. I'm like, yeah, you fucking piece of shit. I think like, sometimes it's okay not to use it. Like, if you're in a left turn only lane... Yeah. Gives a shit. But if you're turning <laughs> into that left turn yeah, only like lane, if you're you turning right it. and, like, you're stopping and you're not using it, like... I guess. Like, I should be paying attention to just see your brake lights anyway. But yeah. It's, but, it's but just it's, a little bit like, fuck you. It's common courtesy, yeah. you know? Because it's like, okay. And people, like, cut you off and shit without doing it. Exactly. That, for sure, that pisses me off. And the people that go, like, three lanes without their turn signal on, yeah. it's like, mm, I will <laughs> burn you alive. Yeah. It's, with me, it's honking. Oh, yeah. And that specific honk of, like, between the one and three seconds and when that light turns green. Yeah. And you're oh, yeah. not moving fast enough for them. It makes me want to get out of my car and bring out my baseball bat. Yeah, just be like, yeah? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. We're doing this now. You're not get, you're, you are gonna be late. Or or <laughs> or also that where you're when you're like about to turn right at an intersection or something, or turn left at an intersection. And you're watching for and, cars. And they tell you you should go now. But they get they give that honk like go. Yeah. Sure. It's like This isn't th- your turn, yeah. bitch. <laughs> right like you can't see what i see idiot. Yeah. like if i want to be safe <laughs> fuck you yeah Dude, I, 
So I, I, I want to ask about like that sort of thing. I think like five, six seconds, and like you give one. You know, like you don't lay on the horn. Oh, at the green light. Yeah, yeah. Because like I'll give it some time because it's like okay, we've all been there. But it, after like five seconds, I'm like, Hunk. you know, just yeah. like take a look. <laughs> yeah, five seconds is fine. But I've I've done it literally like the light turned green. It's only been three seconds. Yeah, it's only been three seconds. Three's a long time. One. I said two, one between one and three. Three. Yeah. Now you said between. No, I said between said one and three first. Did yeah. He? But not then. No. Then oh, he yeah. said three seconds. Okay. But. It, it's, I don't think three is that long. It's like okay. three is a decently long time. I think three is on the cusp where it's like okay, that person's clearly yeah. on their phone for sure. Four seconds. Yeah, four four seconds. Four seconds if, is way too long. Because it, it I, I've waited like seven before, and that's oh, how God. I was like, Hunk! like come yeah. on, like because now it's like I I'm, I might not make it if it's a shitty light, you yeah. know. What about you, Noah? What gets um, you? What's good? What gets your goat? <laughs> people well, who pass me on the highway when i'm doing 90 yeah like <laughs> kill yourself or people that ride my ass like i'm going fucking 90 in a 75 and they're riding my ass i'm like you can go around me yeah but i'm not <laughs> moving over at 90 exactly <laughs> exactly out of here because like i'll do that on on some streets like if i'm speeding a bit and then yeah. a person goes 60 or 70 past me and it's like dude i am already going above. yeah I am like, already above. Where are you? I at? already am going at ticket speed. Yeah. Like, where the fuck do you have to be right now? Oh, also leading the pack while going clearly over the speed limit. That yeah. That sucks. You know, there's... <laughs> but on the plus side, it means that you aren't getting pulled over. No, you're leading. Yeah. The person behind you is still going to fucking get got. Yeah, I always feel better behind. Oh, leader. I agree. I want to be in the middle. Yeah. But, like, I know that if I happen to be at front... Cop's not going to get in front of me, like get behind the person or in front of the person behind me to get me. They're going to go, now the last person's fucked. Fuck that guy. Uh, that, that guy's <laughs> too much work. By the time I get up and over there, he's gone. So I'll get to do behind him. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I had fucking people that try and go around you by like going through other lanes. Yeah. And they don't fucking make it above you. <laughs> that always feels good. Yep. <laughs> There's this weird thing, which is like how humans are, where. They get in their car, and for some reason, there's, like, this weird space that's, like, a bubble of their car, mm-hmm. and, like, they, they people just think, that's mine. Yeah. Just, like, as in, like, when people say, he crossed into my lane. Yeah. Not It's not your own that fucking lane, bitch. <laughs> yeah. You know? It, I don't understand why we as humans just, like, automatically think that. Well, I so... I will agree with other people on this one, depending. Because if a person, like, gets in front of you, like, as soon as their car is able to, I do have a bubble. You are not supposed to go five inches in front of my fucking bumper yeah. or whatever and come into my... I mean, like, yeah, that's, like, that's just, that's like... my lane. It's kind of somebody off, but it's, it's, it's weird. And then, like, some people, when they get into their car, they, like... They become weird assholes, <laughs> and like a prime example, I'm gonna I'm gonna blast him for this, Matt. He he he's like the Matt is not a threat. He's not gonna he he he's soft. You know he's not he's he's not like a There's big no bite. Yeah, he has no bite. But when he's in the car, he 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 like I'm driving. Like, I'm in the passenger seat. He was like, I want to kill this motherfucker. You know, like he gets so yeah. angry. That's my fault. <laughs> How's that your fault? Uh, cause Matt, <laughs> Matt always was about the little karma when he was like driving like his car, mm. and like like he'd be like, "Yeah, I hope you like stub your toe like later, yeah. you jerk." But then he would, <laughs> I was riding in the passenger seat with him, or like I was driving and he was in the passenger seat, and I'd be like, "I'll fucking eat your kids!" And he's like, "James, no, the karma's too big. <laughs> like the karma's bad. Like you, you can't wish that much on him." And I'm like, "I hope he gets in a." an accident like look at him this is your fault absolutely matt mattson said to me he plenty of times plenty of times when somebody does something dumb he'll i'll be in a car with him he'll be like let's follow them home yeah has that that been in the last seven years oh yeah yeah but all the time i'm in a car with him (laughs) but before that did he i don't i don't remember it It, it just feels like he's always been like it was it was entirely me and my uh my superpower of being a bad influence on people (laughs) Just like the Jew jokes. That's not me. That is you. It's not. We've all <laughs> yeah. agreed. Anti Semite? No. That is Jesus. 
fuck? Now I'm going to bring up weird dirt about you. <laughs> I've never made a Jewish joke until I met your racist no, ass. It's, no, James. You brought in the Jew jokes. I didn't. We which talked is fine because this. they're funny. They're funny. <laughs> I've never okay. done it. Yeah, they're, they're hilarious. No, it wasn't me. They're hilarious. It rides his pants, okay? Darius straight up was like, he's like, J- Jerry, James, uh, you know, Matt, Ryan, I never even knew Ryan was Jewish until I James did it. came. <laughs> I never knew Ryan was Jewish until James, James came. He was me. friends with Ryan for like three years and for some reason. Never, okay, that's you why need, I you, don't I, fucking first, believe First of all, all white people look the same. I don't know. I don't know who's oh Jewish. Oh, my God. I don't know no, who's right, Jewish dude. and who's not Jewish. He's right. Are you dealing with this? I don't no, know who I, 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 I can't tell a Jewish person from a non Jewish person. I'm not saying you can tell. I'm saying Ryan would let us know because he did. I didn't know. Then you didn't care about your friend because he talked about his holidays and you knew him for years. Yeah. Okay, great. But that was, that was like when I was still like, yeah. starting to get to know Ryan. It's fine. It's fine. He's just he's going to say it was me and it wasn't it me. It was you, I mean, I convinced you were racist. Because I can guarantee. No, no, no. In my high school. People would call people Jews as an insult, and I always hated that shit because I'm like, what? What even does that – how is that even a fucking insult, you losers? Like, people can be Jewish, so I know it wasn't me. I've never because- made a Jew joke until you came. I, don't, I never even knew what a Jew joke was. You didn't know. You yeah, this dude about. who watches South Park was like, I didn't know what a Jew joke was. <laughs> Fuck you, Darius. I didn't know what a Jew joke was. And I, that's why I know he's I, lying. I didn't even yeah. know Ryan. Listen, right? That paints I, you as a liar. I never it's even such knew. such a liar. I never even knew Ryan was Jewish. Darius, okay. on the podcast, we can go to the podcast of fucking Rain Dinners because there were plenty without me. And he makes Jew gold jokes because of South Park before Damn. I'm there. I don't. You're such a fucking liar and it. you just want to feel better about yourself. Prove yourself. It. We did. I had Dan go look at the old videos, and I did. You were in the episode. Jesus that Christ. episode, Not exactly. Which one. means you were around to teach me the Jew jokes. No, Darius, because it was before those two. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> when I go over to your place, am I going to see like a Nazi flag? Yeah, you're goddamn no, right. No, <laughs> I, I, I respect Jews. You know, James came around, and See, if I will say, I've heard you say a lot of Jew jokes. If oh, you, yeah. If you respected them, you would have said, I respect <laughs> the Jewish people, because not I James. respect Jews. As you, can see, as you can see, James was a huge influence on Matt. He changed Matt and made no. Matt to a, a, a my, road rage monster. My quirk <laughs> is that I have the, the aura that makes your inner personality more like plus ultra <laughs> so that's your inner demons coming out that's and i not... just happened to be around when it happened james i'm gonna i'm gonna be 100 honest with you He's i not. never made i never made a jew joke until you showed up that's mm-hmm. that's that's truth man <laughs> because i didn't know ryan enough to know how well he'll react to him and why do you think like, i me being because me, you you started making jew jokes and i was like <clears throat> wow these are funny I think we have I'm to going, settle this in Smash. Dude, I'm going <laughs> fucking crazy here because of him. I've I've had to deal with this for fucking two years when he suddenly said it was me. <laughs> Even I'll though just, I've I'll known him for longer. I'll, I'll just tell the truth, it. man. I'm going fine. You have some fire ass Jew jokes. I'll give I it to you. I don't. You got some good ones. Were you the one to introduce the pitcher? I don't. I think you were the one who introduced the pitcher. Well, yeah, that's because I said I've seen this online. See? That doesn't mean there, now, I there's made this, it. There's this terrible but pitcher. It. But you introduced it to the group. <laughs> yeah, you no. introduced the pitcher to the group, James. I showed you the picture because you Let's made the, the picture. joke. Let's describe the picture. I'm not. <laughs> the, the picture is Why like this super. I this? don't know because Darius is fucking weird and called me an anti semite for no reason. No, because we were talking about road rage. And you 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 told us how you inspired match road rage, right. and you inspired the Jew jokes with Ryan. No, you brought that. Yeah, up. you brought that up. Yeah, because I'm saying how you inspired the badness of people. Yeah, I inspired. I apparently inspired this I in you, worst. but I didn't no, bring James, it up. You started it. I, dude, <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, and Matt also don't believe you. I'm not fucking dealing with Ryan. Your and Matt don't. History. They don't know. They don't know who started it. So don't, those they can't give a clear answer. Yeah. So I, I'm sure Ryan would know who started Jew jokes. So if he doesn't know who it is, it probably wasn't me. I'm. T- oh, I'm, I will gladly test Ryan. Text Ryan. Who did the first Jew joke? James or Darius? Go. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about something else. This is boring. It is boring. <laughs> Uh, what else you got on docket? Uh, Cyberpunk. Christ. 
We didn't really talk about it. Uh, well, well, yeah, we can talk about that. I was going to just say Aya and the Witch, the first CG Ghibli film, doesn't look all that good. Yeah. The character designs look okay, but like I don't think Ghibli style sure. yeah, it, does it, 3D well. I'm not feeling that. I'm sure it'll be fine because their stories are always good. Exactly. Some of the characters look really good. Yeah. Yeah. Like the musicians. Yep. They look dope. The little girl, I can get past her weird hair because yeah. it's kind of like double horns. So I'm really hoping it's like they're doing rock or whatever. Mm-hmm. I uh, cool. I can also I really like the like angry looking dude. Yeah. He's got like the red eyes or whatever in the oh, screenshot. Yeah, yeah. The balding dude. Yeah. I I can get behind that. Um, yeah. Cy- we, we talked a little bit about cyberpunk, but we can talk more. What do you want to talk about it yeah. other than triggers? I'm just saying, like the fucking world looks alive, dude. Yeah. Like when they were flying over to go into the club right before they like punk those basketball players. Like you can like see inside of like the fucking buildings and shit. And I know they're like just kind of copied and pasted but like those little details just like really make you they pop yeah yeah it's like insane yeah it looks really good and i for some reason in 2022 trigger is going to be releasing a cyberpunk anime and it's like what that's insane like i didn't expect that no but this isn't it's not without precedent because like uh indivisible had trigger do the intro that was just an intro this is an entire series yeah yeah they've got money yeah, they're <laughs> like, one of the best, like, if not argu- arguably the best animation studio out right now. Absolutely. Well, I was I was saying too, uh, uh, like Cyberpunk, uh, CD Projekt. Yeah. They've got money. Oh yeah. Yeah. Witcher Three I mean, is like crazy. They might be running sales. out, considering they haven't released anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, they released gonna, Gwent. That's true. <laughs> Cyberpunk's gonna get them more money because that's a, that's a oh, guaranteed yeah. blind buy for me. Yeah. Yep. Just because their names on it. I'm not gonna mm. buy it probably day one just because I'm not I'm not feeling it too I'm much. Day one, dude. But I, I'll definitely play it eventually. Did you see the it. actual gameplay? Uh, they showed like journal journalists do gameplay. No, I just saw and the, not the just melee the, fighting. That one was like versus twins, right? Uh, I don't know. Probably the dude had like a shaved head and he just punched him in the head like eight times. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I was I was telling James about this earlier when went to go pre order Last of Us. Yeah. The girl was like. <laughs> Hey, you, would you like to pre-order cyber, Cyberpunk? Oh, and I was yeah. like, Nah, I have a PC. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're Save, one of them. Saving the good shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's like, exactly why I like got an SSD. I only come here yeah. when I need to for last of like shit yeah, like last for of Final consoles. Fantasy. Yeah, last I come here for PlayStation Four and Five games. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get this twisted. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You're a fling, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, was that all you had on Cyberpunk? Because that's all I had. I didn't have shit Thanks other than so. it looked good. I mean, if you guys didn't like watch all of it, then yeah, we didn't. Yeah, watch I didn't. Shit. I didn't watch. It's a guaranteed buy. It looks. Yeah, it I think looks the incredible. brain dancing looks neat. The art- They're using it for like narrative purposes, so it's not super brain dancing. Game- yeah. So is that what they're calling hacking in this game? No. So it's a, uh, it's what their direct was for, but so brain dancing is a thing that people do to make money for because people want to experience things mm. so the brain dance that you did was like a guy getting ready to rob a store and then you robbed a store and then he got shot and they sell that to people because they want the experience and because like, like they feel so the rushes so it's like a memory oh. so that yeah but they like get all of the adrenaline and all of that from that experience without actually doing weird it. yeah and they That's were saying how like cool yeah they were saying how like people pay extra for like a complete flat line because the guy died and like how fucked up it is and shit like that Wow. but you're basically in like an editor mode and you can like look around and see conversations that the guy heard and like all of this different stuff to like just explore the world and the narrative of it that's super neat yeah yeah i'm the most attractive thing about that game to me is the character designs yeah i yeah, think they look sick they're dude. super unique and creative uh, if you haven't seen them they have changed them a lot since they showed it off at e3 changed. like change the character designs yeah yeah oh yeah like for the better or worse i mean it's slant it's Mm -hmm. it's sideways i wouldn't say it's better or worse so it's just like it's still good yeah oh yeah it's they still look amazing but i would say they look less clean almost like they look more like they're weathered you know just like the you can tell like they put so much work into like the character designs in the world like the settings and like how how the characters just look as in like you can all oh, you can tell these people are in a gang yeah 
and like they all have this type mm-hmm. of robotic, you know, the arm or like yeah, they're the same color of arm or it's it's just fucking dope. And yeah. the hair, I fucking they got some good ass cool hair in there. Like everybody has like a dope ass hair design. Oh yeah, and it, it makes sense because it's this is this weird cyberpunk world where everybody's just like weird. free and weird. Yeah. yeah, the fucking vehicles too look sick. There's vehicles and, in there? Yeah. So there's like the basic one that they've shown off since like the beginning. You the, can that, also like, get like a motorcycle. That cool car. Yeah. 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 Like the Netrunner kind of looking one. Mm-hmm. And then in the new one, they shot off like what's clearly a luxury like corporate car. It looks yeah. fucking awesome. I'm scared to see what these Dude, side like, look like. Oh my God. Dude. <laughs> if they're uh, anything like The Witcher. I'm scared. I'll send you the video <laughs> for like the gameplay that they sent out for the demo for journalists. Yeah. Like they showed like a bunch of like narrative type stuff that you can run into and just some mission clips here and there. It's nice. super cool. Yeah, it's probably gonna be game of the year. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I can't see it being anything else. Like the game would have to be so shit to play for it to not be like a ten out of ten. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean I th- I think what's gonna really take game of the year this year is Deadly Premonition Two, for Bugs honest. Snacks. I'm so excited. Yeah, Bugs Snacks. <laughs> Bugs Snacks is gonna take I'm so it. So excited for Deadly Premonition Two. Yeah, it's stupid how excited we are. I I I, I care about the story, James. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that game was great. Uh so Min Min got announced. She cool. looks super strong. Yeah. She looks neat. Uh you know, she's 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 an arms character. Yeah. It I opens up a whole lot more possibilities. And doubles. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh for sure. Because there aren't a lot of, like, there are no ranged melee characters besides the Belmonts, really. Yeah. And I think she just does everything better because mm-hmm. she's not a zoner. Like, yeah. Like, a projectile zoner. Yeah, it's still not enough to give me you by the past, though. Yeah, nope. Gotta see more. Yeah. But, like I said. I don't know, six characters, I think is, it, I think they'll all be at least good. You would hope. Or unique. Unique, yeah. But I don't know if, like. You know, because like they they could they could they could spoil that pool easy mm-hmm. like for me and make me not want to buy the whole pool. Maybe because like if they were like number two, Steve from Minecraft. Number three, yeah. like an Angry Bird. It would have you to, know, <laughs> like, it would have like to be that shit. Fire Emblem character. Oh, absolutely. There's no way it'll be that. Yeah, shit. five more Fire Emblem characters. <laughs> I'll be shocked if a Minecraft character makes it in. Same. It's it's pop it's popular. Did Microsoft dude. get a rep yet? I don't think Banjo. So. Banjo. Banjo. Yeah. Technically. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I, I, Matt's. I think Matt's probably right. We're probably gonna get Crash. Crash would be dope. Yeah. There's. There's Spyro no reason not to. Either one of them would just be smart. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. With like, fucking. It's about time coming out. Yeah. Might get Crash. Um. But no, because Min Min was a trophy or uh, a spirit. spirit yeah. She was a spirit and now she's a character. Every spirit is now available to possibly be a character. Yeah. It is opens a spirit up everyone. a trophy? No. No, spirits are like the, the stickers yeah. that a you have sticker? to collect. Uh-huh. They're like the things that you fight in the story mode. Like they go into a person's yeah. body and they change like whatever. Um so like hey, Gino is a fucking sticker. Right. So hit me up with that. Technically, still nothing saying that assist trophies could ever become real characters. Um, so far, it's, it's been probably rule, not. Good, because yeah. Shadow does not need to be in that game. Yeah, but Alucard does. <laughs> and Zero. <laughs> and and Isaac from Golden Sun. I'll take it. Leave Shadow the fuck out. If, if the next four characters were Alucard, Isaac, Zero... And Shadow, I deal. Give me Shadow. For I'll those buy three. it. I'll fucking give him the money. <laughs> I'll never play him. I refuse. Yeah, no, not not gonna happen. Um, the last two things I even had to talk about really was uh, uh something stupid I thought about. It's like, was it like, like what, what would happen if you put like the wrong condiments on the wrong things? Like, how shitty would things taste? Like, what if you put like ketchup on a burrito? You know, or like Yuck. mustard. I fucking hate ketchup. Dude, can you right? imagine like? salad dressing on a hot dog exactly <laughs> like i was just thinking about how like ugh, like put like fucking i don't know just douse french fries or like hash browns or relish and, like, soy sauce or something you know Ugh. like Why? like no i don't know i was just i was just looking at the condiments like, in my fridge and i'm like just like fucking up food. dude my so yeah. my, my uncle he like, um you well you don't know if it's gonna be bad Tech, it could be one of the best things you ever had because like 
My like fucking you never think like Cheetos and mustard would taste good, but yeah. th- they taste really good together. I don't believe that. You don't? Cheetos and mustard? Yes. Or like cheese That's puffs, not Michigan Cheetos. Shit. I'm too Wisconsin to understand. <laughs> oh, uh, speaking of Wisconsin, we've got some cheese curds. Oh fuck! I, I, <laughs> I actually had some Wisconsin baby Swiss. I was gonna give you. Ah. I forgot to bring it. Well, I'll see you and again. You. Nice. Um, my uncle when he was a kid, he like uh, trunk um. Some liquid shit that like you pour down the drain to get it out. <laughs> yeah, Drano. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but like seventies Drano, so like so super strong. Ridiculous. What age did he die? <laughs> so was it when he was a kid? <laughs> but that fucked up his uh, taste buds. Yeah. To the, and to this day, when he gets Chinese food, he puts ketchup on it. Oh my god. Because his his taste buds are so fucked up. <laughs> so he gets like shrimp fried rice, and he just fucking. Puts ketchup on like the so goddamn. He's living our nightmare, right? Yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> okay, kids, don't drink drain no. yeah. <laughs> like, Didn't fuck, man. That's a bad. That's a bad experience. So that's, yeah, that's a prime example of what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so whatever we eat for dinner tonight, Noah, and, like Darius, we're gonna make cheese curds because they. Hell yeah. They're good until like July something. And we got them from that farmer's market, so they're like fresh, cheese curds. Cool. We just. We just have to like batter them and fry them, so no big deal. Should be yep. tasty. Um, is it Wisconsin cheese? No, I know it's Illinois, but their cheese is pretty okay. But it's um, not the best. You're right. It's not fucking. I mean, from happy cows. Yeah. When we went to Wisconsin to that, that fair, mm-hmm. I had that cheese ball thing. Yeah. I was like, "This is real Wisconsin." I just get it. Yeah, Dude, yeah. I get it, it. it. It's literally a different level. I get it. You know, yeah. it's, like, it's like trying that mayo. Mayo sucks, but you can understand it when it's not yeah. packaged like in a fucking based. container. Did, did Trisha try the mayo with the... Not the cold mayo, yeah. Uh, I made okay. my own. Mayo? Yeah. Oh, right. Because yeah. it's like two or three ingredients. Exactly. Yeah. And I have an immersion blender, so why the fuck not? <laughs> um, so if you want to try some, it's cool. That's All also right. one of the ingredients in the French onion dip. Um, so the last thing I even had to talk about was just uh, uh, I picked up bikes. And like, I fucking hate you. Uh, I'm so free. jealous of you <laughs> and your fucking. Oh, Debbie likes me more than you. She did. Oh, I hate you. Never mind. Well, why would she? Why would she tell you? Hey, Darius, I have bikes. You never talk about bikes. Yeah. Fuck you. I know. <laughs> That's not you. That's because uh, I don't want to talk to her. <laughs> then why wow. are you mad that she doesn't talk to you? Can't wait to anonymously send her this email with this podcast. <laughs> yeah. I'm just with jealous. Time. Here you go. I'm just jealous. Time stamp it. <laughs> Uh, but no, so I went to the bike store and I was just trying to get a feel for other bikes cause I want a bike. And first off, the first thing they walked me to, even though I told them like, yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm just starting out. I just want to like a road bike to have fun yeah. with, um, for now and like get into biking. He's like, oh yeah, check out this bike. She me a $3,800 bike, bro. A COVID is still happening. Right. No one has money. And B, I said, I'm starting out. Why would you hit me with a 3,800 bike? <laughs> hit that, hit you with that Ferrari bike. Yeah, bro. exactly. dude. <laughs> exactly. You Whoa. want those Lambo wheels, dog? <laughs> Got that gear shifter right out the car. No, so I like walked around. Comes and with I, a turbo button. <laughs> I'd, I'd buy a turbo button. Uh, but I, I walked around and there's fucking used bikes. And yeah. it's like, oh, what are these used bikes for? And I like the look of them better. And I'm like, oh, this one, it's a 350. That one's 100. This one's five. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to stay over here, asshole. Yeah, $100 bikes? $100, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Dude, we'll go sometime. I'm down. I'm, I need a bike. Yeah. Um, They're open until five. Uh, Monday through Saturday, and they're closed Sunday. That's just COVID hours. So after t- yesterday, they might actually be open for longer. I don't know. We'll see. I'd have to check. Um, but no, so I was like walking and I was testing out some bikes and like whatever. And I'm like, okay, you're trying to sell me things. I'm a sales. I used to be a salesman. I get it. Mm. Like fucking whatever. And then as we're walking, he's like, oh, yo, yo. And he pulls out a fucking like bike and he's like, is this, is this a blank? Like, I don't remember what fucking bike it was because mm. the rest of the story is going to tell you why I didn't care. Um, <laughs> And he's like, yo, and he tells me the story about the bike, and I'm like, okay, cool, I get it. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm Wrap instantly. Yeah, I'm walking out. <laughs> yeah, and like, I'm, look, I'm looking at the fucking price tag, and I'm like, okay, 800. Okay, I see that he's trying to get me something better than the 351 I told yeah. him I liked. Um, and then another dude who was helping me earlier pokes his head out from the end of the aisle all the way back, and he's like, yo, dude, is that a blank? And I'm like, are you serious? Are you doing the same thing? Are you, are you doing this right now? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, man, I, I think we just got it in. Like, it, it, you know, it's, you know, it's, I just saw it here. And I'm like, yeah, you just saw it here. Your bike <laughs> shop's not that big, fucker. Like, 
this isn't even the fastest way to the door, and you just happen to walk me down this aisle. Right. Ugh. And, like, he's like, dude, this is your bike. You should take this for a test ride. And I'm like, fine, fuck it. You have my keys. I'll take it for a test ride and then yeah. get the fuck out. So, like, as I'm walking this bike out there, three other employees are like, yo, dude, nice bike. And I'm like, <laughs> you serious? are you fucking serious right now? I can tell you're selling me something. Right. This is a $25 bike that you marked up to 800 I get it. Like, fuck, fuck off. Him. Yeah. And, like, the second he was telling me the story, I was researching everything he said on my phone. Because I'm yeah. like, I'm, I'm not. I'm not dealing with this. Right. Like, fuck you. And, like, I wrote it. It was fine. And I brought it back. And he's like, yeah, man. I'm sure, like, if you bring, you know, your, your wife in because you were, you know, talking about getting her a bike, too. Mm-hmm. They're like, I'm sure we could knock, like, 100 off of it. And I'm like, yeah, sure, man. I'm Did it feel like an $800 ride? Right. Sure it. didn't feel like an $800 fucking bike. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, he, when, when I brought it back to him and he was like, yeah, man, I think this has been sitting for a while. And, like, it's, like, yeah. new it's to. Shop. Yeah. And He's like, it's, it's, it's a. For four months. <laughs> <laughs> no shit right right like it's i'm not stupid it's been sitting there for a while but he just saw it but he just saw it exactly that's that's what i was like dude you already said that it's like it just came in yeah. but then you're telling me i think this is like new for sale where it's like a new bike but we're selling it like right. for dirt cheap and it's like so which is it did yeah. it just come in or has it been sitting here for a while right. i get it you want to sale I did blow his asshole out in front of the owner, though. Yeah. Because I grabbed a bike that I wanted to try, and he didn't adjust the height of the wheel. Mm. Like, not the wheel, the uh, seat. And I rode out, and then, like, an old dude was watching me. He was going into the store, and then I, like, walked it back because I was like, this isn't the proper height. And he's like, Jesus, let me help you with that, man. And he, like, fixed it, and the dude came out, and he's like, oh. And he's like, what are you doing to the dude? He looks tall. (laughs) And, like, this is how I knew he was, like, the bike store owner. He was like, he looks tall, but it's all torso. Like, because like he fucking looked me oh, up and yeah. down and knew. He was like, like that's what he needs. Exactly. <laughs> and the guy is like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, my bad, my bad. And like the guy's like, yeah, what are you doing? And walked back into the store and then walked right to Damn. the back. And it's like, <laughs> got him. That's what you get for trying to <laughs> fuck me on the price of this bike, loser. Like, eat shit. <laughs> So yeah, Fuck that was that guy. exactly like <laughs> his name was Brian. When we go there, if we get Brian, I'm be like, nah, sorry, Brian, I don't like you. Not you. <laughs> yeah, give me Mo. Mo's cool. <laughs> was that his name? No, Mo's no Mo's the owner, but Mo. Oh, not not Mo's the owner. I don't know what the name of the owner is. Mo is a cool dude who was there the first time I went to the shop. Okay. And like everybody there was like, cool. Like oh, we're you know we've got nice haircuts we're all dressed fine mm. and then there uh, the guy was like oh i need to get a bike down hey mo and mo comes walking out and he's wearing a leather vest long crazy hair down to like the Hell middle yeah. of his back and he's like how tall are you five nine five eight five nine okay cool grab down that bike that bike and that bike and he walks to the back as the dude grabs down the three bikes he knew his oh, shit yeah, he knew his fucking right. shit and i'm like know. okay i like you mo yeah. mo you know what you're doing <laughs> and this time mo was there but he was in full kit bike gear clearly like shit. about to leave oh yeah and like he even walked his bike out and like he rode the bike in the store next to me he's like hey man you checking out the electric bikes and i'm like nah i'm looking at the used ones he's like that's cool and like <laughs> rode towards the electric door bike? nice uh it's like a bike that has like a, a battery in it that you charge while you pedal so like you charge it while you pedal a little bit and then you can give it a little bit of go because it's got like a motor so it's like a weird that's cool yeah, dude yeah. sounds chill have fun with like the eight thousand dollar price tag though uh-huh. yeah <laughs> they're <laughs> not, not, they're not that not, cool nah 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 not that cool but yeah mo seems like a champ so it's like fuck you yeah, yeah. fuck you brian mo's the best we should, we should probably call to see if mo's working yeah hey is mo there no <laughs> <laughs> immediately beep, 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 beep. Yeah. <laughs> uh that's all i got yeah. fuck yeah. it was a fun two weeks of nothing got anything no no unless we want to talk about game theory and valorant for another hour i want to watch hunter hunter so we'll do do that next time (laughs) question me and james were talking about this it was a pretty good question you win is this the ending question yeah oh end of question you win 500 mil or like Uh, i think we're saying like 100 million yeah 100 million you you win 100 mil money bezos yeah you you (laughs) win 100 mil in, in the lottery you say hmm i got 100 mil to fucking just splurge yeah i want to make a movie my question to you guys is, what type of movie do you make, and do you write the script yourself? Hell no. <laughs> I don't write. Because I would like to mention that the budget for Knives Out was 40 mil. Never seen it. Knives Out's amazing. You have Amazon Prime, right? Mm, I have Someone does? Prime, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, the movie's free right now on Prime, oh. so you can just watch it. Neat. Totally worth I'll a watch. Do that. It's fucking amazing. 
So you don't have to spend a whole hundred mil, but like nine, like you said, nine thousand forty mil made three hundred mil. That's easy money. Yeah, I think it made like three eighty. Like yeah. it, it made money. Yeah, and it's, it's and mostly because the movie was just was just good. So you okay. you could you could spend like you know forty, fifty mil on your movie. What type of movie do you make, and do you write it? Damn, I wish I knew directors. Yeah, right. Comedy. I'd be just like give my favorite director money to do a film he wants to do. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. I do that with Edgar Wright, but he's expensive. It's like, just let me help you yeah. create what you want without the fucking red tape, you know? Yeah. Mm, never mind. I was going to say something, but fuck, fuck never mind. It's so you, you said comedy, James, right? Yep. You said... I'd write it myself. You're right. So I, I think that's brave as fuck because I would be scared to write a comedy because, like... Yeah. I would, like... Making jokes. Yeah, because shit is funny to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. Well, it's a movie for you. It's exactly. Shit. But but if it, shit is funny to me. It's a funny tour. Like I want to make money with this movie, and like see that that's our core difference. I don't care if this money makes move. This movie makes money. If I have a hundred mil and I'm spending forty million on it, I did the math. Ten million. Ten million gets you a hundred thousand dollars a year for a hundred years. Dude, I could live the rest of my life on a million. Yep, Who cares? Yep. Right? Like it doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> fucking matter. Like, cause even if you did a million, right? Yeah. It's fifty k a year for twenty years. That's not a long time. But like, I'm not even spending like two grand a month right now. Exactly. Like <laughs> you can live within those means. Yeah. yeah. So if I win a hundred million dollars and I'm planning on spending upwards of fifty mil, I'll make whatever the fuck movie I want. Yeah. Like, I'll make a weird fake like Harry Potter ripoff with. Uh, 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 Elijah Wood and Daniel Radcliffe playing the same role in different <laughs> scenes just to like so it'll be like Daniel Radcliffe and it'll quick pan to someone else and then for a second like 24 frames it'll be the other guy and then it'll go back and be completely normal and no one will mention it and everyone will be like what, what the fuck was that fuck it I'll make it a weird cerebral comedy <laughs> They give it a, a Fight Club feel, so people are like, "Wait, so which one was the real main character?" And it's like, "We don't know." And then I've got a cult classic, and I'm making money. Fuck it. Okay, I'll just make I'll just make the room. Yeah, I'll make the Tommy room too. Oh, yeah, the help oh. co-write. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ew. There's a director for you. No. Just let I'm, him make I'll, his own. I'll movie. probably pick Seb McKinnon. He's an artist, but he also owns like a film studio. Yeah. And I don't know. I think it'd just be a very beautiful movie. What, what type of movie? Ed. Fuck. Also, what has that person done? I don't know anything about the man you just told me. You just said. He, he's a Magic the Gathering artist. Ah. But his style is very. Him. Does he make movies? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Him and his five, four brothers. <laughs> Damn. That's, yeah. It's a good way to keep the, them in the family. I think they just finished doing something. I forget what it's called. It's like the whale or something like that. But I don't know. It just looks very artistic. I don't know what kind so of a drama you call it. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I just want him to do whatever he wants to do. Cool. Sounds like a non answer, but I mean it's no, good, it's it's good enough. Be valid. Yeah, that's yeah, good enough. It's good enough. I'm I'm torn between a a superhero movie. Or a live action anime movie done right, because I feel like we can do it right. Yeah, but then you have to deal with all the red tape though, because it's not an original property. That's I'm true. okay with that. That's true. He's got a hundred million. He could use any amount of that. I just, I just to wanted ten million, yeah, for but yourself. they, they still have their hand on it. Yeah, that's I'm what a, I'm saying. But, I guess it depends on who you pick though, right? Because if you and I, if you and I went halvesies and we're like, hey, blank dude. We want to make an Ouroboros uh, movie. Oh, sure. He'd probably be like, yeah, sure. And then their people would be like, someone wants to make a movie, Ouroboros? Fuck it. Go for it, man. Right. And an Ouroboros movie would be pretty simple to That'd do. Be, yeah. Logistically, it'd be pretty simple. Yeah. I'm leaning towards... It's just John Wick with less characters. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> the more interesting story. Yeah. I'm leaning toward, like, the first arc of, like, Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh, yeah, because that, that'd even be super simple to do. Yeah, and just see... Mm, first arc... Or first arc with Yusuke being alive, because the first arc of Yu Hakusho is pretty lame. It's cool. It's just him being a ghost. But it's him being yeah. a ghost. I would, I would, that would be half the movie. Okay. And the other half would be him fighting Kogan, uh, Hiei, and uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Kareem. Karama. Karama. Yeah, cream. <laughs> yeah, he's cream. <laughs> just like he's in my dreams. At him, least. him, him doing that shit. 
Because I, I know it can be done right. No, I know anime, a live action anime movie can be done right. You just have to fucking do it. You got to be know. careful and you got to do it. There's too much you can't put character you, building. No, but you it doesn't have to be in one movie. The whole Yours story does. doesn't have to be in one movie. Yeah, this hypothetical oh. is one. I guess. We can he, treat it like means. Marvel. Like, yeah. you can have them go through shit and just be one arc. Yeah. And have one arc be a movie. Yeah, like yeah, Death but Note. You have to, like, like the Netflix Death arc. Note. <laughs> like Death Note. Like the Netflix Death Note. <laughs> but you have to finish the arc. Or else the movie will just feel empty, kind of. That's true. Like, there has to be some sort of resolution at the end of it. I think you could do that with you, Hawker Show. Like, the the him like getting becoming a spirit detective can just be easy to do within what two and a half hours. Yeah, but like, what do you do after the like? You, you go to the next you, arc. like it. Yeah, but I guess it's not one movie because after that you it's Genkai, I believe, right? Yeah, it's him getting the training. Yeah, like, it's like whole... would you want to watch like a two hour movie of a guy getting his power and then doing nothing with it? Is what I'm saying. With the Genkai thing? No, no with the first for movie. like the first movie. Like the first movie is just him growing and then getting his power and then it ends. I mean, obviously, probably like. I mean, the first movie it. would be, he defeats EA. He gets spirit gun. I'm not super familiar with Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how the arcs play out. That's a hell of a lot to try though. and get done in two hours, though. I mean, it's you, a lot. Because here's the thing: you say you want to do it right. Yeah, what you're talking about isn't doing it right. It's like a love. Uh, my guess is maybe I would think because because now because if you do it in two hours, right now you're getting into the weird thing of now you have to make it so he a is the reason he got hit by the car on accident. I, I was thinking makes like, I was you know, I was rethinking maybe maybe you might have to just skip over to him being a ghost thing. You might have to say it happened. I used to be a ghost. You do Spider Man style like ho- Homecoming or whatever or uh, whatever Avengers uh, Civil War. Where it's like that's Spider Man, mm-hmm. you know. He's, yeah. he's the guy. But there he is. I, I would think. <laughs> you know. I would think. Yeah, I was dead, and now I'm alive again. Now I have spirit powers, and then you start the story. Technically, and, him being dead is like the the word, like the least important part of most of the stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I, f- I feel like it started off. The series probably started off as like he had an idea to make a ghost boy. Yeah. And then he's like demons. Yeah. <laughs> and like you, you could probably do it very well, where it's hinted at his uh, his history. And you make it so he doesn't die in the first place. And they're like, "Hey, we need your help." And they're like, "Why?" Like you're like, "We selected you. We need your help." He's like, "Why?" And they're like, "We don't want to talk about it yet," you know, because like we know your dad's a demon. Yeah. But like, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> so th- that's most definitely what I would pick a, a anime because I, I just want to see it done right, man. I want to see it done right. And Dragon Ball Evolution is not right. Did you watch it? Fuck no. <laughs> I sure did. But I watched definitely. I saw the one clip that mattered. The head spin yeah. on the fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's the best. I watched Death Note. I watched the Full Metal movie. Yeah. Mm, that's gotta watch Bleach. I don't need to watch Bleach. No. Uh, so I'm going to piggyback off that question because uh, you totally, you're super right. Noah, what anime would you choose to fucking make a movie of if you had the money? We just heard Shit. Darius's answer. Just put me on the spot like this. I, don't, I mean, I figured I it'd be super Patty easy. I think Stocking would make a good one. You do or don't? I don't. No, no, no. The format it since too perfect. It it would work better if you made a movie, a side movie based on Garter Belt. Yeah, in his come up. Mm-hmm. That would be cool, dude. Sun can rock. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. It would that just be fucking 100. like Old Boy or uh, uh, the Raid, basically. Yeah. Fuck, dude. <sighs> the entire movie would have to be his relationship with the Bruce Lee stand-in. Forget his name. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, if you want to shrink it down to that, yeah, because you you could oh do God. that one, but like it resolves at the end too, kind of. Yeah. Nah, but you could. Really. I, I'm thinking. His I'm thinking. Just do there. casino arc, maybe. Casino arc. Yeah. That's the ending, right? No, casino is near the beginning when they take over the casino. Okay. Is that when he first fights the guy? Uh, it's the arc after that. Is it the one where like he's standing outside with a bat and they look out at him and they're like, "Fuck!" It's like we're facing that's, an army. That's that's the idol arc. Okay. The K-pop idol idols and he where he he leaves. And he first fought the. Uh, it's uh, guy. fuck. I'm trying to think about the people he fights there because he fights the twins. 
Yeah. He fights the fat chef. There's that chick that seduces him or yep. tries to. Yep. That's the, yeah. that's because both the sisters try to seduce him. Yeah. And he's like, nah, thanks. Don't put your mouth yeah, on my like, wiener. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> and he can tell them apart. And they're like, wait, what? And yeah. he's like, what? He's like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're like, what do you mean? I'm her. And she's like, no, you're not. <laughs> Clearly. I can tell you're not. <laughs> Darius, read Sun Ken Rock. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is that the first uh, club? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, oh, that's the yes. first manga, manga club. Yeah, we're starting that now. Did yeah, we absolutely. talk about that? We totally didn't. Yeah. We talked about it off, and then we started. Whatever. We'll, we'll, guys, there's a manga club happening. We'll talk about it more in depth, because it'll be the first thing in next podcast. Blame. Um, before we leave, that yeah, guy... We should talk about it now, so we can do it next podcast. No, that's what I mean. We'll just we'll just start next podcast and like start talking about are it. You talking, are you saying talk about we're it? We're saying like we tell them about it now. Are you saying you want the vil- viewers to read it with us? Is that what you're trying to say? If they want. Yeah, that's true. Fine. You're, you're totally right. Yeah. I said that passive aggressively and didn't mean to. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're we're, we're going to start a manga reading club. And um, we figure first we could do five chapters every two weeks. Five chapters in two weeks. So all three of us are going to read the, the first thing in the fucking world, five honestly. chapters of Sun Can Rock. I, I thought we were going to finish the series. <laughs> no. That's where my head was. No way. <laughs> oh, we're not going to finish Sun Can Rock? No, 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 well, no, no. He thought we were finishing yeah. the series in two weeks. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't have that time. <laughs> Make the time, Darius. <laughs> yeah. You have two weeks, bro. <laughs> so, yeah. First five chapters of Sun Can... It's called Sun, as in, like, S-U-N, the sun or... Yep. K-E-N. R-O-C-K. Sun can rock, and we'll discuss the first five chapters. And uh, I, these two have read it. Mature content yeah. warning. Eighteen plus only. These yeah. two have read. It. I haven't read it, so they talk about it all the time. It's really fucking good. The art is fantastic. Yeah, if you know Doctor Stone, it's the same artist. Yep. All right, cool. Uh, uh that guy who asked us the question. We Vino answered. Burrito. Yeah, he never answered his own question. We're Damn. calling you out again. I'll call you out in the the group chat in Discord. Yeah, <laughs> getting so called out. We want to hear your, your 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 animorph. Yeah, give us the animorph. Yeah. It's good stuff. It was a really good question. Yeah. <laughs> All right then. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Thank you for good. thank you for listening, guys. Thank you for taking time out of your day to listen to us. I pre- appreciate it. Yes. Thank I you. I appreciate it more. I appreciate. Each and every one of you, every second of your lives. Mm. You're all beautiful people. I found you, Miss New Booty. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back to And me. the circle is complete. <laughs>